Welcome to Forex Tester 2 video tutorials. In this tutorial we will tell you about generating ticks for testing mode. Before the testing starts you need to prepare data for it. In history mode you can see all history for imported symbols and all time periods. You can generate ticks only in history mode. Let's go to data center. Click here. In this window, select Currency Pairs and click Generate Ticks button. In this dialog window, select the range. Ticks will be generated exactly for this range. Attention! Testing mode will be available only within the selected range. Check the symbols. Select generation method. You can see two types of generation methods. Generate randomly by real volume. It means the number of ticks inside one minute bar will be equal to volume. Ticks will be distributed randomly inside one bar. The ticks will include open high low close values. Generate by open high low close. Each bar will contain four or less ticks which correspond to open high low close value of the given bar. Less than 4 ticks is possible in the situation when open equals high, low equals close. We recommend using the lightest method of tick generation as it's the quickest and gives a good testing quality. Please check use imported tick history if possible. It means if real tick history for this bar is downloaded, then exactly this tick history will be used. If there is not any, but there are usual 1 minute bars, then they will be used. Ticks will be generated according to previously selected method of generation. Click Generate. Close. Select Testing mode and click this drop-down menu. In testing mode you can see only those symbols for which you generated ticks. Click on the generated symbols. Organize them. Select tick chart and click Start Test button. Look through the properties and confirm start testing. Click on pause. Slow down the speed with the slider. Continue testing. In this drop-down menu select every tick. You can see every tick here. That's the price movement. Stop testing on clicking Stop Test. Thank you for watching our video tutorial.